How do you define a procedure? Whether you go into a Starbucks in New York, London, or Sydney, you know the coffee will be good. It probably won't be the best cup of coffee around, but it's going to be good, and there aren't going to be any surprises. That's why you go in. The coffee is the same because Starbucks procedures are documented and followed by all their employees. But what is a procedure? A procedure is a checklist. Nothing more and nothing less. It's that simple. Not easy, but simple. The sophisticated person calls it a procedure and the mana coach calls it a checklist. That's the only difference and the mana coach lives by the rule that if something is not in writing, it doesn't exist. He also knows that the simpler the checklist, the better the chance it will be followed by everyone correctly and consistently. From the time the captain of a 747 is doing a walk around check of his plane before a flight, to the time he is at 35,000 feet doing 600 miles an hour, if he has a problem, what does he do? What or who does he rely on? The chances are that he doesn't have the personal contact information of the airline CEO. In some cases, the captain might not even know the CEO's name. And besides, the CEO is not in a position to help. But what the captain of the plane, who has over 300 lives in his hands, does have is a complete set of procedures, which is simply a checklist on his computer, and in a binder full of hard copies, in case the computer doesn't work. These checklists cover every conceivable situation that could happen on that plane. Airline manufacturers have hundreds of people that work on nothing but developing and constantly reviewing and simplifying checklists. Why? because it's a matter of life and death and when a plane is at 35,000 feet nobody on the ground can either see the problem or help. In his book The Checklist Manifesto which every mana coach needs to read Dr. Atul Gawande makes it so clear how the following of good procedure saves lives in the plane, in the construction of the towering skyscraper and in the surgical ward. But what becomes clear is that companies like McDonald's and Starbucks became so successful because they brought the same sense of urgency to developing simple and easy to follow yet important checklists and treated it as a matter of life and death. Here's a simple example of how a checklist saved a company's customers money and a good truck driver. A truck driver has a great attitude and is in line with the company's core values. However, he keeps making careless mistakes, or as Dr. Gawande calls it, inept mistakes. The truck driver knows that he needs to lower the crane before driving off, but he forgets and takes out the overhead electric wires attached to the customer's building. He forgets to bring up the truck's hydraulic stabilizers as he drives through the parking lot and he rips a strip down the customer's new car. At times he forgets to update the paperwork, resulting in checks and invoices going missing. What does the mana coach do? He writes out a simple checklist that starts with putting cones around the truck every time the driver stops to make a delivery and ends with picking up the cones when the delivery is finished. In the checklist, there are seven easy to follow steps. Following the checklist physically makes the driver take time and do a walk around before driving away. The mana coach informs the driver that although he really likes him, if there's another accident and the checklist isn't filled out, the driver will be out of a job. Guess what happens? The mistakes decrease by 90%. No more wasted money and no more upset customers and the company gets to keep a driver with a good attitude. Dr. Guante documents the same type of results in his book over and over again. If you could bake the best cake in the world, but you did it in your head and from memory, the chances are you could do it again. There are a few problems to not having the procedure documented, especially if the success of your business depended on those cakes. The first is obvious. You could forget an important ingredient, making the cake fail, while losing your credibility. And then there is a scenario that if you varied from the original recipe and it was even better than before, you might not know or remember what you did differently. Another reason is that every time you want to teach someone how to bake that cake, you have to be there to teach them. You will always be the one and only person capable of transferring this skill set. And of course, the third and most powerful reason is that the cakes and the business all depend on you. If you get hit by a bus, the thousands of people who enjoyed your cakes can no longer enjoy them. Not to mention that everything you built and everyone who contributed are gone. Well-documented procedures secures the mana coach more freedom to grow and bring value to the business. It's that simple. There are a number of things going on in a business including accounting, finance, sales, 
marketing, one or more operations, IT, and human resource processes. The more those processes are well documented and followed by all, the more the business can operate independently as a business relying on no single individual to perform properly. The idea of documenting the processes in each of your departments seems overwhelming, which is why so many businesses don't do it. At EOS Worldwide, there's a 2080 rule. For example, take one department like marketing and write out all the things marketing must do to make your business successful. Let's say you come up with 50 processes. Now pick out the 10 things that absolutely must be done well and consistently for marketing to work. Don't throw out the other 40 as they could end up as a subsystem later. Now document those 10 things and you now have a documented set of procedures for marketing. It's that simple. Not easy, but simple. Mana coaches see themselves as surgeons or pilots when it comes to having simple, effective, and documented procedures followed by all. Even though it's not, they treat it as a matter of life or death. And if you treat it the same way, customers will appreciate and pay you for the high level of consistency in what you deliver, whether it's products or services, day in and day out. Try it and let us know how you do at www.themiraclemanager.com.